Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening up here some Cyberstorm Access and also uh, the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection. This is uh, arguably one of the greatest sets out there. I've been doing a bunch of research uh, on this particular set and yeah, it's just one of the best sets out there. Best set of this year, that's definitely for sure, but uh, arguably one of the best sets in the entire game. Uh, just a reprint of pretty much the best cards out there or the most important staples out there So seeing that it's all actually come in this particular set is definitely wonderful What I have heard is that this is Obviously, it's a really pricey set with uh, each booster costing uh, pretty much $13 retail and if you're lucky you're able to get it for a bit cheaper from uh, certain uh, card stores or certain vendors for example this particular box here even though there's only three packs for some reason there are certain places charging fifty dollars for them not worth it if you pay 50 bucks for this i ended up paying thirty dollars for this definitely uh well worth it ten dollars per pack that's that's a good price uh, as for the Cyberstorm Access, uh, last time I actually went out, I found the remaining in the uh, department store for $4 each, and I went to a different department store today and uh, managed to pick these up as well. So all of the Cyberstorm Access was $4, and they had one pack left of the uh, Legendary Duelists, and this, believe it or not, it was only $0.20 cents for the pack. Now, I have heard that this particular set here never took off and I mean sure you could say marine cess is something but even then all the important cards never came uh, in this particular set so you're pretty much just getting something that's not valuable but given that this was 20 cents hey it's worth just getting for the fun of it you know uh, but that being said let's just get all this opened up now in the previous uh, opening pack or like a few videos ago when I actually opened up uh, the Cyberstorm Access plus I believe it was the Duelist Nexus packs. In that one I was pretty much just going over about how I was just getting back into this again and I hadn't been fully immersed into the game. And let's see what we get here. So last time I believe I got a secret rare which was definitely really nice. Um, I haven't had the chance to try it out yet, but let's hope we can uh, pull some other great stuff from this. And yeah, hopefully we do as well as last time, but I'm actually more so excited about the uh, rarity collection. That's going to be uh, quite fun indeed. So let's see here. Got this last one, which is... Uh, Duels from the Deep, and let's find out what we have. So, let's begin. We have over here Cyberstorm Access. First pack, we have, ooh, look at that, an ultra rare. We have a uh, Manadium uh, Room Heart. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, it's an ultra rare, so I do not know um, if this is worth anything or not, uh, you guys will definitely have to let me know on that. So let's move on, but look, an ultra rare, that's definitely very nice to start things off with. We have here Grand Sulphur Cord Coolia. I believe we did pull this card last time, so nothing particularly special there, but let's keep going and let's see what else we actually have. Got here a B Trooper Cruel Saturnus. Very interesting. Uh, B Troopers, I do remember that uh, a while back. They haven't been getting the most consistent support, so uh, very interesting to see, though. Not interesting enough for me to want to build a deck out of it. Um, what do we have here? We have Ice Jade Ran Agerine. Alright, that's very interesting. So Ice Jades have continued. Getting more support. That is our second ultra rare, so that's definitely very nice. Last time we only got uh, one secret rare, the rest were all supers, and that was out of five packs. So, how many have we opened up so far? One, two, three, four, five. So, we have six here, so out of six packs to get two ultras, definitely really nice. 
Uh, we have a super rare, um, oh, super heavy samurai commander Shinawo. Uh, very interesting card because uh, super heavy samurais in general have just been uh, quite that interesting deck. I'm surprised that it actually didn't take off as well as uh, I thought it would because uh, when I read a few of the cards, they were actually really good and I thought that. I would actually do really well, so definitely surprising for me. We have uh, Manadium Meek as our super rare, so nothing else, but honestly, out of six packs, uh, to get two ultra rares, definitely really nice. So let's now see what Duels from the Deep actually has. I believe it was um, Legendary Fisherman cards, Shark cards, and Marine sets. Honestly, there wasn't anything that I was particularly interested in this particular set, so I felt like I didn't really miss out on much uh, during the whole time that I wasn't fully immersed into the game. Uh, but that being said though, for 20 cents a pack, you can't go wrong with it. So let's see what we get. We have our number 71, uh, Rebarian Shark. I mean, it's a generic rank 3 that supports number archetypes, so I guess you could make that work. Marine says Wave, we have Marine says Sea Angel. Frostosaurus, and we have a Levia Dragon Daedalus. I mean, it's alright, but hey, for 20 cents, wasn't really too bad at all. Uh, let's find out now what we get in the 25th Anniversary Collection. Um, yeah, this product is definitely a really interesting one, like at least this whole box that they did. Three packs, no promos, um, yeah, pretty much just an empty box, nothing else inside. And the fact that they're charging 50 bucks for this is ridiculous. I mean, there are places where they're selling packs for $10 each, and the fact that they're charging 50 for that just makes no sense. I mean, even for the $13 retail price of this, it doesn't add up to 50. So I don't get where they're actually going with that, or well, certain stores, and why they're charging that much. But hey, I guess you just gotta go out looking for the best deals you can so let's see what we actually have uh, i can see a bit of warpedness already um uh, very interesting uh let's begin so we have here a super rare selene queen of the master magicians very interesting by the way guys i have no idea um what the ratios are i know that there's obviously um ascending order of uh rarities but yeah we'll find out so uh, we have ecclesia which is nice and all, it's a super rare reprint, but I already have high rarity. Um, looks like we have here a... Is this a quarter century rare? I don't know. Uh, Fossil Dig, very nice card, but I have no idea if this is actually a quarter century rare, or if this happens to be... No, I have no idea, I honestly have no idea. Uh, we have Black Wings, the Moon, the Poison Wind, and we have Artifact Lancey as well. So both of these in Ultra Rare. Uh, that's nice, I guess. Let's find out what we have in this next pack here. At least from what I've heard, this set is definitely a great set for value. Uh, Artemis is a fantastic reprint. It was definitely going out of control. Uh, we have here a, is this a secret rare? Just a regular secret rare uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, very nice reprint with this particular artwork because I believe with this artwork it only got reprinted in gold rare. So to get it in a secret is definitely really nice. And then we have Reasoning and Magicalized Fusion. So it seems like uh, two Ultras and two Supers are guaranteed. And the rest could either be secret, quarter century... Um, I believe Ultimate Rare as well, and uh, Prismatic Secret too. So yeah, let's find out. It's last pack, let's see what we actually get there. We have Vision Hero Ferris. We have Compulsory Evacuation Device. And we have, look at that, we have a regular Fossil Dig in uh, Super Rare. Uh, Secret Rare, sorry. Uh, we have Downed Magician, and uh, that's weird, we have a Time Thief Redoer. Okay, that's very interesting, and now this rarity as well. Alright, I honestly can't tell at this point. Like, this, what rarity is this, you know? Collector's Rare? Surely, yeah, that's Collector's Rare. 
I forgot about that. Collector's Rare is also a thing here. So Time Thief Redoer in Collector's Rare. I like that. That's definitely really nice. I uh, love the texture and the glossiness from uh, different portions coming out of it. Yeah, definitely one of the cooler rarities that have actually come out. Uh, but yeah, that was essentially it for what we got. So let me know what you guys actually think about this. I mean, are these actually any good pulls? Um, obviously, there are some things that I do recognize and it's going to be really exciting to uh, test out again. But uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.